Time for Kids, The Founding of Jamestown. Take a tour of Jamestown. They th take a tour of Jamestown. They thought they were lost. The Susan Constant, the Godspeed, and the Discovery had sailed from London, England on December 20th, 1606. The expedition was bound for Virginia, carrying 144 people. Finally, on April 26, 1607, the ships sailed into Chesapeake Bay. In the words of one voyager, they found fair meadows and goodly tall trees. Later, on an island in a river, they built a fort and named it after their king, James. Jamestown would become the first successful permanent English settlement in the New World. The Struggle to Survive There is a proverb that says, Ignorance is bliss. In the case of the 104 men and boys who came ashore, this was true. They were faced with tremendous challenges. The water from the James River was not safe to drink, and food was scarce. The Native Americans resented the settlers for taking their land. Caption John Smith, an experienced military man, became head of the colony in 1608. He had been in charge of finding local tribes willing to swap food for English copper and beads. Smith was tough with both the Indians and Englishmen. He that will not work shall not eat, he told the colonists. Smith knew that an attitude of every man for himself would endanger the colony. The western Chesapeake area was ruled by Chief Powhatan, who governed an empire of 14,000 Algonquin-speaking peoples. His daughter Pocahontas became a useful friend and ally to John Smith. Caption Pocahontas saved the life of Captain John Smith. Sidebar The real-life Pocahontas Princess Matuaka was born around 1595. Her father, Chief Powhatan, called her Pocahontas. She saved John Smith's life twice, and he wrote that Pocahontas's wit and spirit were unequaled. Pocahontas married a planter named John Rolfe, the first marriage in that era between an Englishman and a Native American woman. Rolfe, Pocahontas, and their son visited London. She never returned home. She fell ill aboard a ship bound for Jamestown in March 1617 and died. Taking a closer look. Archaeologists digging in Jamestown have discovered Indian artifacts along with English ones, evidence that Indians lived in the fort for some time. It must have been a very close relationship, says William Kelso, an expert in colonial American archaeology. Kelso has worked for 10 years to document this site. His team has managed to uncover more than 1 million artifacts and has mapped out the fort's shape, its foundations, and a burial ground. Jamestown left a record of greed and war, but it was also the start of representative government. On July 30, 1619, the first representative assembly in English North America met in the Jamestown Church. Map Key Red Box Recreation of 1600s Brick Foundation Dashed Box Site of 1600s Archaeological Remains Blue Dots Pitch and Tar Swamp Tan Line Walkway Caption Dr. William Kelso working on the archaeological dig in Jamestown 